In an effort to mitigate the effects of climate change, the Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria, CYON, has organized a road walk to sensitize the public on the dangers of plastic waste on the environment. The work which began from the Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria in Durumi 1 terminated at the Catholic Church of the Archangels Parish, Durumi. The work was meant to inculcate in the youths the need to care for our environment in line with Pope Francis' Laudato Si and Cyclical. Sitaves Tony Abba completes the report. From various deaneries of Abuja Archdiocese, this youth, under the umbrella of Catholic Youth Organization of Nigeria, CYON, are gathered here in Durumi community to work for the eradication of plastic waste in the community in line with Pope Francis Encyclica, Laudato Si. So today is um, a very special day because it's a launch of our Laudato Si project in the Archdiocese. So Laudato Si, it's encyclica written by our Holy Father, the Pope, to see how the church can come in in this issue of climate change. And we have keyed into it as the youth of Abuja Adelsis to sensitize persons according to the dangers of the, um, the plastic we see in our own peculiar environment. As we all know, we have experienced a lot of erosion, a lot of um, blockage of drainage systems, and all due to the indiscriminate waste disposals in our immediate environment. And so this project is a way that we, the Catholic youth, want to use to come in and sensitize our immediate environment, tell them the dangers, and tell them how best to manage plastic waste for the good of the earth. Um, plastic waste has been neglected for a long time, and, um, but this year, in June, to, in June 6th, the World Environmental Day, and the United Nations make it compulsory that it's going to be on plastic waste and um, solution which was well discussed and uh, talked about all over the world. And um, if you take, for instance, um, especially in our country, Nigeria, the, the, the pure water, the bottled water, have been, they just dispose them anyhow. So this plastic waste, um, or this project we are doing, will contribute more to um, environmental safety or stewardship, especially when we talk about what is happening to the ocean today. You see um, so many plastic on the ocean, but we forget about the aquatic bodies. Uh, research has made it known that um, even some of these fish we eat today, they, they contain plastics. Why or how did they come about it? Well, because they consume these plastics that are passed through the, the, the drainage to the sea. So what we're doing today is, is a good thing. We are going to save the water bodies. We are going to clean our environment, and we're also going to contribute to a better environment for all of us. From Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria in Durumi 1 through Durumi 2 community, this youth pick up plastic waste to keep the environment clean and tidy. Speaking after the road walk, the youth chaplain, Reverend Father Cyril Osuji, gave the essence of the work and how it will help the youth to care for the environment. You know, our Holy Father Pope Francis gave us an assignment we as young people to contribute to helping the earth become better. There are so many wastes around that if well coordinated can be used into proper use. So we are practicalizing the document of the Holy Father that the earth is crying for help. And so we are here today to demonstrate to the people of Abuja and Itenvaros that we can properly keep our plastic waste and use them for the good of ourselves and the society. So that's what we are here, that's what we are doing. The youth are taking the lead to practicalize this noble document that the Holy Father has brought us for. This initiative by the young people, um, taking uh, inspiration from the document, Laudato to see. And um, studies have revealed that the impacts of human activities on the earth are not always positive. So the fact that we are going around giving good information to people and young people themselves championing this cause is a very prophetic statement that we as a Catholic community, we as young people want to contribute something positive in preserving our environment. Coming out here is a very good one. The Bishops' Conference of Nigeria has taken to the streets by preaching that every parishes 
every diocese, every province, they should engage in tree planting. They should embrace Laudato Si. Laudato Si has to do with a program of the nature, the earth, save the earth. Our planet has become a place of refuge, especially in this our country, Nigeria, and in Africa at large. Waste management, we are so careless about it, which lead to our drainages being blocked. It causes flooding some places. It's only God that have made, that made it possible that earthquake has not occurred in Nigeria. Because of this, the youth of Abuja Archdiocese has come out to preach one aspect of the Laudato Si, which is plastic management. Yes, in our current uh, world now, we have observed that even the green economy and the blue economy has been polluted by plastic waste. And we believe that when we gather these plastics, we can recycle them for entrepreneurship purposes, for uh, business purposes. And this current generation of ours are so talented that they can convert plastics as well as other waste into usable tools. At the termination of the two-kilometer walk, which ended at the Church of the Archangels Parish, Durumi Gadua, Abuja, there was a brief talk on the need for the youth to take part in climate change advocacy and ecological conversion. When you saw the pictures, create a social media handle, post it, people are saying, people are saying what you are doing. You don't know where to come from, where people will call yourself, I saw what you are doing. It's a Catholic Youth Network for Sustainable Environmental in Africa. Go and Google this. The young Kenyans, they are actually being around. They have all the cost ideas. It's Catholic Youth. They came together and they are using these documents. And they are going around, they are the world. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.